uh, Steven, and welcome to more of Anatomy uh, 101 for uh, the digestive tract. Okay? Understand those terminologies. A polyp. Um, when we look at a polyp, a polyp is a benign cells that have built up in the colon. Guys, when we look at the large intestine, and this is why I, I, I went through the complete system in a small intestine, so many people have so many toxins in their body. And I'm, I'm gonna throw this out here really quickly. So because we live in, in an allopathic society that's all about meat and carb, carbon, hydrogen society with lack of water, alkaline mineral water, most people are constipated, guys. Most persons issue are because they're constipated. So here's, here's my point, and I'm giving you just some tools just to put in your system. So here's the thing. Most people in America eat a lot of meat, right? Why do you eat meat? You eat meat because they think it's protein. But your body needs amino, amino acids, right? So you can get amino acids from, from, from your veggies. But people are accustomed to eating meat. So my point is, if you're eating three meat meals a day, one meat meal takes 72 hours to get out of your system. 72. So imagine a person seven days a week eating three meat meals a day, plus the sugar, sweets, and the carbs. That's 21 meat meals in your body that goes through your digestive tract that are lodged where? No nutrition from the small intestine. All of the toxins are sitting where? In your large intestines clogged. You see where I'm going with this, guys? Because I'm building a case, you know, so your customer, your patient knows that you're the expert. And so all those toxins are sitting in the colon. It's going to cause a pH balance to be off. My microbes are off. Um, this is where I get diverticulitis, diverticulosis. This is where I get Crohn's disease. My pH balance is off. My good and bad bacteria are off in the small and in the large intestines. And by the way, there are more microbes and bacteria in the large intestines for a purpose than in the small intestines, okay? Those are some really good points uh, for the large intestines. I hope you kind of understood that anatomy. I really want you to just, this is real basic, right? And we could go a lot deeper, but I want you to understand the basic anatomy and why it's important because you could bring out some really good points about, oh, you didn't know? Now, here's the other good point. 